Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1984 Detroit Tigers season replay. Today's matchup is between the Baltimore Orioles and the Detroit Tigers at Tiger Stadium. On the mound for the Orioles today is Randy O'Neill, whose record is 5-8 with a 4.97 ERA. And pitching for the Tigers today is Dave Rosma, whose record is 3-2 with a 4.95 ERA. Well, you know what? <laughs> we are finding weird ways to win. Um, our pitching has completely let us down, but our offense has picked up. Uh, I don't really know how to explain the way that we're winning ball games this month, but we're 13-7, and seven, uh, and we are still uh, have a substantial lead, a three-game lead over New York as we head into New York. I'm sorry, as New York heads to Detroit. Uh, after the completion of today's game. So uh, I'm I'm surprised that we're still hanging in there. We have the best record in the American League. And if you take a look at uh, our TBR ERA, uh, we are just a tick better than New York. We've ba basically been the best pitching team in the American League all season until this re recent spat where we've been giving up a ton of runs. Uh, we gave up 12 to the Yankees. There's nine to the Orioles, eight to the Blue Jays. We did have uh, this back-to-back -back, uh, start of the Blue Jays series where we just gave up one run in two games, which was pretty solid. But, um, I mean, there's another nine-run um, uh, outburst from the uh, Blue Jays. So, uh, you know, we've been giving up runs in bushels, but we managed to, uh, you know, win 13 games already this month. And with the rest of the games uh, at home, for the rest of this month, I think you know, we should finish up pretty strongly. So uh, let's go ahead and get started with today's ball game. As always, I appreciate everyone following along. Like and or subscribe to the channel. Give us a like. That's always a nice thing to do. Uh, tomorrow I will be, tomorrow is, is Sunday. So tomorrow I will be announcing the, um, the giveaway uh, for the uh, second quarter of the season. Um, I guess at game 81, we will announce the, no, let's see, where are we at? We're at game 74, so we'll announce it tomorrow, and then I guess one week from tomorrow, uh, we will give the, um, the prizes away. So uh, stay tuned for that. It's going to involve a lot of rookie cards, so uh, those are the most valuable uh, by and large, if, if you're a collector. So, uh, here we go. We got Dave Rosma on the mound. Man, we've been issuing so many walks. It's nice to have a pitcher on the mound that does not give up a lot of walks, but he gives up a ton of hits. Our bullpen is available. Our, everyone is available except for Frank LaCourt, who um, took his first beating of the year yesterday. You see Jack Morris uh, is slotted. In the, in the rotation the next time through. Uh, so he will take over for Danny Jackson, who we put on an Amtrak back to Toledo. And then uh, Randy O'Neill, he's a right-hander, so we have our lineup in there versus righties. George Brett was listed as tired, so I went ahead and benched him for today. Doug Baker will be in there at third base. We want Brett available for the Yankee series that begins tomorrow. Okay, let's go ahead and do the lineup rundown for the Baltimore Orioles. Um, we have a nice piece of trivia about Kevin Romberg we'll talk about here momentarily. Leading off in left field is Kevin Romberg. Batting second at second base is Tommy Hur. Batting third in right field is Bob Pate. Batting cleanup playing first base is Jim Traber. Batting fifth at third base is John Castino. Batting 6th and catching is Ray Smith. Batting 7th and DHing is Alan Bannister. Batting 8th in center field is Rick Manning. And batting ninth is the shortstop, Bob Bonner. Okay, here is Rosema making his 10th start of the year. 3-2 with a 4.95 ERA. 28 strikeouts and 60 innings pitched, but he's walked 20 already. Uh, he is definitely on pace to have his highest walk total in any season. I guess he did last year. 
So he's definitely on pace to uh, surpass that. Opponents are batting 304 against him. He does have a save, no complete games. Fastball tops out at 86 miles an hour. I mean, he's a, we know he's a junk ball pitcher. Ground ball percentage is 56%. The sinker is his best pitch. He is now rated an 81 overall. The 27-year-old righty is a free agent until next year. So we are on the hook with Dave Rosema for another season after this one. Now the good news is he is coming off uh, his best start in a while. He walked three, gave up three hits, but did not give up a run in five and two-third innings. And that was his first win since we brought him back into the rotation. Okay, let's take a look at the Tigers' defense. You know it's good. It's good everywhere. Even Baker at third base is a notch better uh, rating-wise than George Brett. Um, and solid everywhere else, including Kennedy behind the plate. Okay, Kevin Romberg leading off. <laughs> Thanks to Julio L., who uh, mentioned uh, he must have done some research on his own. I, I tried to look this up. I couldn't find it. But apparently... Kevin Romberg had a psychological issue um, slightly different than Adrian Beltre had of the Rangers where Beltre did not like anyone touching his head. It would make him angry. And I'm sure you've seen plenty of compilation videos out there uh, where, you know, like Miggy Cabrera would tap him on the head and they would play fight about it. Well, Kevin Romberg has a somewhat similar disorder where if someone touches him, he has to touch them back. So uh, it's like a permanent life game of tag for him where he cannot be hit, apparently. Uh, if, if you touch Kevin Romberg, he's going to touch you back. Uh, and that's kind of a, a bizarre uh, disorder to have. But um, thanks to Julio L for mentioning that. Let's see if we can keep him from touching the baseball. Kevin Romberg leading off. 1-1 one, one count. And he hits a comebacker to Rosema, who tosses him out at first. So one down. Next man up is Tommy Herr. Herr has been kind of quiet this series, batting 276 with only one home run on the year. Fly ball into shallow right center field. Wilfong makes the catch. Two quick outs for Rosie. That will bring up Bob Pate. Pate struggling too, batting 220 with eight home runs, and Rosie plunks him right in the kneecap. So Pate will take first base. Now, would that happen unless something else was going to happen immediately afterwards? We'll find out. Jim Traber, uh, hot shot to short. And that's out number three. I will admit, it has been a little bit more difficult lately to. Uh, guess what would happen next. Um, I kind of feel like the game is in a more of a random mode right now. We go to the bottom of the first. Let's take a look at the Tigers lineup rundown. Batting leadoff, playing left field is Kirk Gibson. Batting second at shortstop is Alan Tremel. Batting third at first base is Greg Brock. Batting cleanup and DHing is Kenny Smith. Batting fifth and catching is Terry Kennedy. Batting 6th in center field is Kevin Bass. Batting 7th in right field is Glenn Wilson. Batting 8th at second base is Rob Wilfong. And batting ninth is the third baseman, Doug Baker. Here's a future Tiger, former Tiger, Randy O'Neill. O'Neill making his 16th start. He's 5-8 with a 497 ERA. 46 strikeouts in 101 and a third innings pitched. Opponents are batting 289 against him. He's got one complete game. His fastball tops out at 93 miles an hour. Ground ball percentage is 46.9%. That fastball, that is his best pitch. It's rated to 94 and a splitter. That's an 85. Uh, overall, he is rated a 90. The 23-year-old righty goes to arbitration at the end of the 1986 season. Looking at his log, he's faced us twice already this year. He got the win on June 5th, going eight innings, giving up two runs on five hits and three walks. And then on May 4th, he took a loss, going five and two-thirds, giving up six runs and nine hits. 
striking out only two. Okay, let's take a look at the defense for the Orioles. we got um, uh, Rick Manning back in center field instead of Dave Stegosaurus Stegman. And Ray Smith back behind the plate. He is somebody that we could run on if we get a chance today. Okay, Kirk, uh, Kirk Gibson leading off. Gibby has shown some serious power lately as he ekes that one into center field just past the second baseman, Kerr, for a base hit. What better time than now? Gibson has been uh, caught stealing a lot lately. He's going on the first pitch, and he is gunned down again. Damn it. Wow, how many in a row is that? That's one, two, three times in a row that Gibson has been caught stealing. So the leadoff runner has been erased. Here's Alan Trammell with an 0-1 count. Trammell bloops it into center field. It will be caught by Manning for out number two. And Greg Brock batting 285, 12 home runs, and he strikes out looking. Yeah, that average, man, remember where it was? Well over 300. He's just finding his uh, average right around 260. I think it's probably where he'll stop. We go to the top of the second inning. Here is John Castino leading off, followed by Smith and Bannister. Castino hits a ground ball to third, and Baker makes the play. One out. Here's the catcher, Ray Smith, and he rips it in the left field for a base hit. That's the first hit against Rosie today. So the catcher, Smith, is on first. Here is Alan Bannister, the DH. 1-1 one, one count to Bannister. He skies it on the infield. Trammell closes the glove. Out number two. And Rick Manning. Wow, Manning is batting 327 with a couple home runs. 1-0 count. And he hits a fly ball into shallow left field. Gibby coming in. And it's actually Trammell that goes all the way out to make the catch. We go to the bottom of the second. No score. Ken Smith leading off. He had two home runs in yesterday's ball game. He's got 17 now. And he goes to left field for a base hit. Um, I don't know. I think we've already run ourselves out of one inning. So we have Smith on first. Here is Terry Kennedy. Kennedy batting 351. He had a home run yesterday. It was his seventh. And he hits a sharp ground ball to short. That is a Taylor May double play. So maybe we should have gone for two. And then Kevin Bass flies out to right field. Okay, we're making all the wrong calls so far. We go to the top of the third. Bobby Bonner leading off, and Bonner on that inside curveball pops it up to first. Rosie's looked good so far. He's given up one hit and hit a batter. Romberg hits a frozen rope to center. Bass makes the catch. I don't want to jinx him. I just want to point it out. Kevin Bass has yet to make an error in center field this year. And then Hur hits a ground ball to Wilfong, who makes the play. Nothing but goose eggs. We're going to the bottom of the third. Glenn Wilson leading off. Wilson had a home run yesterday. He might be breaking out of his slump. As the first baseman, Traber, boots it, Wilson is safe. And the leadoff man is on for the third consecutive inning. So they're doing what they can to... Uh, Give us our chances, at least. Oh, the ground ball base hit for Wilfong into center field. Wilfong batting 424 with that base hit. Okay, well, this is a sack bunt situation here for Doug Baker, something he does very, very well, almost elite level. A 1-0 count, and he hits a great bunt down the first baseline. Wilson and Wilfong move up. And we've got a couple runners in scoring position now for Gibby. With less than two out, we're going to go on contact. Wilson, not the fleetest of foot. Oh, we don't!
don't need to worry about that. A three run. Home run for Gibson. He's in double digits. That is his 10th home run of the year. And Gibby has been lifting on the off days. No surprise as uh, Randy O'Neill's now got one unearned run. 3 nothing Detroit. Man, I love to see Gibson get going. And then Trammell rips it down the left field line all the way to the wall for a double. That is Trammell's 15th double. Second on the team in doubles behind Kennedy. So Allen's in scoring position for Greg Brock. Let's see if Brock can pull it down the line. No, nope, he's going to dump it into center field. Get down. It is caught. And no, we do not want Trammell thrown out at third with Ken Smith up next. So we'll give Kenny a chance here to drive in a run. He's one for one today. 3-0 count, and they walk him to get to Kennedy. Uh, not an intentional walk, but it's four straight balls. They weren't even close. Okay, well, Kennedy's the guy you want up there, right? He's betting 350. <laughs> 357 home runs. Uh, he choked and I choked. Pardon me while I grab a drink. He pops it up. That's disappointing. We do get three runs on the board thanks to Gibby, his 10th home run. We go to the top of the fourth inning with Bob Pate leading off. It's the heart of the order. Pate goes to right field over the head of Wilson. He does make the catch. Good job by Big Willie. Showing some big ups, making the grab. Then Jim Traber gets jammed inside. It goes to Baker at third. Traber doesn't have much speed. So he's easy to throw out. Here's John Castino. A ground ball to Wilfong. Wilfong is making all the plays and getting all the hits. We go to the bottom of the fourth inning. Kevin Bass leading off. Bass 0 for 1 today. Full count, and he gets struck out swinging. The pitch that was under his wrists is out number 1. Big Willie with a base hit into center field. He's 1 for 2 now. All right, well, we're going to keep him at first. Rob Wilfong batting 406 versus righties. Sooner or later, this will correct itself as well. There's a ground ball to first. And another double play for the Orioles defense. We go to the top of the fifth. Tigers are up three runs. Man, I would love to get Rosie through one more inning here. Smith, Bannister, and Manning are due up. Rosemitz is throwing cheese up there. They can't hit it. Smith pops it up to Wilfong. One down. Rosie's got a one-hitter going on. Oh, son of a bitch. Bannister is going to double. Something he does a lot, but not so much this year. It's only his 12th double. He had 57 in 1982. That's insane. So, I guess Rosie's due to give up his first run here. Here's Rick Manning, right down the middle. Ground ball to short. Bannister will hold as Tremble checks the runner and goes to first for out number two. Bob Bonner at the plate. Will he be the one that drives in the run? Number nine hitter batting 258. And a line drive to first. Brock makes the snag. Good job by Rosie. I don't know if we should throw him another in. Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, he went five and two thirds in his last start. Um, I don't know. We'll consider it here as Doug Baker will lead off. Baker pops it up. I don't know what it takes anymore to get a starting pitcher a win. Gibby had the big three-run blast. He lines it to left for out number two. And then Trammell pulls it into left field for out number three. Yeah. So we got our 
flurry of runs and O'Neill's righted the ship. Okay, so Rosie's only thrown 59 pitches. Um, he hasn't walked anybody. He hasn't struck out anyone. Kevin Romberg will lead off. This is going to be an extremely short leash for Rosma. Brown ball to short. Trammell makes the play. Good job. One down. Tommy Hur with a full count. A line drive to Wilfong, who's been so busy. Covering the ground, making the play on a line drive. Two outs, here is Bob Pate. Ground ball to Trammell. All right, Rosie looking good. We go to the bottom of the sixth inning. We've got the heart of the order coming up. It's Brock, Smith, and Kennedy. Let's take a look at the in-game stats. There you go. Gibby is clearly the player of the game. Brock over two, struck out once. Slow. One down. Ken Smith, one for one with a walk. Batting 309 versus right handers. Ground ball to second. What is that? Three, six, seven, eight, nine in a row for O'Neill now. And a ground ball from Kennedy, make it 10. That's the way this game works. It'll give you all, all the lump scoring together, and then the pitcher doesn't make another mistake. Okay. Yeah, we're going to keep Rosie in there for one more inning. Now it's a left-hander, Traber. If anybody is going to exploit Rosma, it could be Traber. Yep, that's it. I'm, I'm already pulled. I had my hand pointing to the bullpen before that ball even crossed the plate. Um, all right. Wow, Roy Thomas got pummeled last time out. You know what? We're not going to go to him. We're going to go to Dave Gumpert. Gumpy Gumpert. 21st game, 4-1 and one in relief, a 259 ERA. 13 Ks in 24 and a third innings pitched. Opponents are batting 191 against him. He has been solid. Look at his splits. Both the lefty and the righty matchups are below 200. We got a runner on first. Here is John Castino. Well, Traber's got good speed for a first baseman. Ground ball to third. Baker, it's going on the horn. Yes! Good job, Gump. And then a ground ball to short. Ends the inning. Preserves. The uh, opportunity for a win for Dave Rosma. We go to the bottom of the seventh inning. Randy O'Neill still in there. He's only thrown 77 pitches. Kevin Bass, an infield single to third. We'll take it. That's Bass's first hit today. We're going to... Oops. Sorry. We're going to send Bass. 70% chance. KB! Oh, no! Oh, man, come on. I can't believe Bass got thrown out by this punk. And he's two for four. I mean, I mean, his career percentage is not all that great. I hope that doesn't um, change the momentum. Oh, shit. I think we just screwed the pooch. Will Fawn goes to left field. Yeah, boy. All right. Good job. Uh, let's see if we can get one more out from Gumpert, and then we'll bring in um, uh, Comstock, I think. No, I mean uh, Rucker. We'll bring in Rucker. Okay, Ken Gumpert. He's only thrown six pitches. Let's see if he gets Alan Bannister. Bannister, who doubled last time. And we walk. Him. Yeah. God bless it. All right, here we go. Rucker's got to go after Rick Manning. You're down three runs and you're stealing second base. That is not an actual baseball strategy. Of course, they steal perfectly. 
Um, so this is going to be the first run as Manning strikes out. Now, Rucker does pitch well versus righties, right? Um, it's, yeah, righties are batting 114 against him somehow. Full count. A comebacker. That'll get Bannister over. This feels like a wild pitch pass ball scenario here to get that first front in. 1-1 one, one count. Ground ball to second. Rucker might get out of it. He does. Good job backing up the gump. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning. Let's get an insurance run here. 0-2 oh, count to Baker. Have the Tigers even had a hit since the third inning? I don't think so. Yeah, I mean, this why this game is just broken. Randy O'Neill's going to pitch a complete game. There's a hit. Yeah, O'Neill's going to get a complete game because he had one bad inning. That's it. Oh, Brock says, suck it, O'Neill. Two-run home run into the right field bleachers, the 13th home run of the year for Block, uh, Brock, and that will bring out Sammy Stewart, who's pitching really well. Look at that, 40 and two-third innings in relief. Man, I thought we were overworking uh, Dave Smith. Uh, only 14 games, and he's thrown 40 and two-third innings. Uh, Ken Smith, he is one for two. That's off the wall. He's going to get himself a double. He's two for three with a walk today. That is only his eighth double of the year. And Terry Kennedy, who's been quiet at the plate. 0-1 oh, count and a base hit in the left. Smith around third. Oh, come on. Uh, but that is, after not getting a hit for almost five innings, now we've got four in a row. So, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. And then Bass will strike out. Yep. That's how it goes. Okay, top of the ninth inning. Let's see if Dave Rucker can get Tommy Herr. Nope. Whenever you leave a pitcher in to start another inning, they always give up a run. Um, okay, now I guess we have to bring in Roy Thomas, whether we like it or not. Thomas it was horrible in his last appearance. He had five walks, only one strikeout, gave up four runs on, and three hits as well in one and two-third. So uh, he's due to bounce back. I just, we have a five-run lead. They're going to get their junk runs here, I would imagine. I've been wrong a lot lately, though. There's one out. Here's Jimmy Traber. Rockets it in the right. Her will go. To, oh, her's going to hold up. You're not going to run on that cannon of Glenn Smith. Uh, Glenn Wilson. Here's John Castino. Full count. Striking him out. We're one out away. It's Ray Ray Smith, the catcher. One, two count. A comebacker to Roy Thomas. And that's out number three, and the ball game. A shutout by the Tigers pitchers. Five nothing win. Handshakes, butt slaps, sloppy stakes. Uh, are there any trade offers? There are no trade offers. All is quiet. Let's take a look at the standings. Everybody who needed to win has won, keeping pace. Of course, uh, Baltimore is now eight back. Toronto's won four in a row. Chicago, Seattle are tied. New York is still six behind Philadelphia. And the Dodgers are 12 games up. Let's take a look at the headline news. Brainiac Baseball Daily Beat. Down sl slide continues for Orioles with a 5 nothing defeat. Good job by Rosie. He'll get the win. Player of the game is probably going to be Gibson. Let's take a look at the transactions. 
three new injuries to mention. Oh, I have to remember to... Uh, oh, no, I guess I don't because Daryl Jackson doesn't have a modern card. Uh, Herman Rivera of the Astros is going to miss six weeks. Looks like he's a bench guy, pinch hitter. Kelvin Chapman of the Mets, minor leaguer. Al Nipper, come on. Another Boston pitcher bites the dust. Al Nipple Chips, 30 days in the hole. Okay, let's pull up the box score and get out of here. Tigers win 5 to nothing. I like wins like that, where I don't have to get all tight butthole. Um, Brock will hit his 13th home run, but Gibby, his 10th home run, was the game winner. Uh, he had a three-run shot. Brock had the two-run home run. That's good for Gibby. He's only got 32 RBI this year. I mean, we have him in the number one spot. He was thrown, uh, caught stealing, um, and that's kind of a problem now. Rosie gets the win. He's four and two. The bullpen did their gerb. They gave up a couple hits, but they didn't walk anybody. Another game where we either um, had the e equal amount of walk-to-strikeout ratio or more walks and strikeouts. So um, we are just terrible in that right now. Okay, come back tomorrow. We're going to have the contest. Uh, well, uh, not a contest. It's a giveaway. It's free. You have to be a subscriber. So subscribe to the channel if you have not, and uh, we'll come back tomorrow and let you know what the prizes are. Until then, everyone, have a great day.